Blessed are the undefiled in the way of walk in the love of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies who seek him in the whole heart. They also do not iniquity the walk in his ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Or oh, that my ways are directed to keep your statutes, then I would not be asked when I look into all their commandments. I will praise you with uprightness of heart when I learn your righteous judgments. I will keep your statutes or do not forsake me utterly. How can a young man cleanse his way by taking it according to your word? With my whole heart I have sought you all, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I have declared all the judgments of your mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of your testimonies as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in the statutes, I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully the servant that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may see wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth, do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the curse stray from your commandments. Remove from your reproach and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies. Princes also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statues. Your testimonies also have a delight in my, in my counselors. My soul clings to the dust, revive me according to your word. I have declared my ways, and you answered me, teach me your statues. Make me, underst make me understand the way of your precepts, so shall I meditate on your wonderful works. My soul melts from heaviness, strengthen me according to your word. Remove from me the way of lying, grant me love graciously. I have chosen the way of truth, your judgments have led before me. I cling to your testimonies, all that do not put me to shame. I will run the course of your commandments, for you shall enlarge my heart. Teach me all of the way of your statutes, and I shall keep you to them. Give me understanding, and I shall keep you all indeed. I shall observe it in my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, not to covetousness. My eyes fell. Turn, turn, turn away my eyes from looking at, looking at worthless things and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant who is devoted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach with a dread, for your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts, revive me in righteousness. Let your masses come also to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for I have oft in ordinances. So shall I keep your law continually forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in the commandments which I love. My hands also I lift up to your com commandments which I love, and I will meditate on your statues. Remember the word to your servant upon which you caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction for your word has given me life. The proud have mean great rise and it I do not turn aside from your law. I remember your judgments of all, O Lord, and of comfort in myself. Indignation has taken all of me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine because I kept your precepts. You are my person, O Lord, I have said that I would keep your words. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought about my ways and turned my feet to your testimonies. I made us and I did not delay to keep your commandments. The course of the wicked have burned me, but I have not forgotten your Lord. I will rise, rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of mercy, teach me statues. You have dealt well with the servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good, teach me your statues. The wicked, the, the proud of led, the proud of force the lying against me, but I will keep your precepts in your whole heart. Their heart is at first grace, but delight in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I am laying in statues. The love of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of gold and silver. Your hands have made me face and me, give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me, because I have hoped in your word. I know all of that your judgments are right and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let I pray your merciful kindness be for my comfort according to your word to your servant. Let your tender mercies come to me that I may live for your law is my delight. 
Let the proud be ashamed for the treatment wrongfully it falls at what I'll meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes that I am not be ashamed. My soul friends for your salvation, but I hope in your word. My eyes fell from searching your words, saying, When will comfort me? For I have become like a wine skin in smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many are the deaths of your servant? When will you execute judgment on those who persecute me? All your commandments are faithful, they persecute me wrongfully, help me. They almost made an end of me on earth, but I did not forsake your precepts. Revive me according to loving kindness, so that, I, so that I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Forever, O Lord, your reward is certain in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations, you establish the earth, and it abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances for all our servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I would then have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given, given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked wait for me to destroy me, but I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consummation of all perfection, but your commandment is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love you, Lord, it is my meditation all that day. You, through your commandments, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way that I may keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my test sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp to my feet and light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me all according to your word, except I pray the frail offerings of my mouth and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have led a snare for me, it have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as heritage forever for the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. I hate the double minded, but I love your law. You are my adding place and my seal. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evil does, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word that I may live, and do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be safe, and I shall observe your statutes continually. You reject all those who stray from your statutes, for the desire is falsehood. You put away all the wicked of that like dross, therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done justice and righteousness, do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good, do not let the proud oppress me. My eyes fell from seeking your salvation and your righteous word. Deal with the servant according to your mercy and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me understanding that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you to act all out for they have regarded your laws wide. Therefore I love your commandments more than gold is and fine gold. Therefore, all your precepts concerning all things I consider to be right at every false way. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The entrance of your words gives light, it gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and repent, for I long for your commandments. Look upon me and be merciful to me as your custom is toward those who love you on them. Direct my steps by your word and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from the oppression of men that I may keep your precepts. Make your face sign upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Reverse of water run down from my eyes because men do not keep your law. Righteous are your Lord and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies which have commanded are righteous and very faithful. My, my zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet, do not, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness in the law is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, eternal commandments are my delights. Your, the righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting, give me understanding and I shall live. I cry out with my whole heart, hear me, O Lord, I will keep your statutes. I cry out to save me and I will keep your testimonies. I rise before the dawning of the morning and cry for help, I hope in your word. My eyes are awake to the night watches that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. 
O Lord, revive me according to justice. They draw near, O follow after wickedness, they are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of all that you have founded them forever. Consider my affliction, deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me, revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked because they do not keep your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, all revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from my testimonies. I see the treasures and am disgusted because they do, they do not keep your word. Consider, consider how I love your precious. Revive me, O Lord, according to loving kindness. The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Princes persecute me without a cause, but my heart stands in the eye of your word. I rejoice at your word as one finds a great treasure. I hate and avoid lying, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace have those who love your law and nothing, and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies and love them exceedingly. Let my cry come before you. O oh Lord, give me understanding according to, your, according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise for you. Teach me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word for all your my tongue shall speak of your word for all your commandments of righteousness. Let your end become my help, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and the law is my delight. Let my soul live and it shall praise you and let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep, seek a servant, for I do not forget your commandments.